Hi, and welcome to the Monday Minute. Bronnie Ware, a hospice nurse, wrote a book called The Top 10 Regrets of the Dying. The number one regret, she writes, the number one regret that most people regret at the end of their lives is I wish I had the courage to live life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. So I'd like to share with you a story about Rabbi Mendel Futafas. Futafas was a legend in the Chabad community. He defied communism and Stalin for decades. He managed to find ways to observe Shabbat and keep kosher even while in the Soviet gulags. No matter how hard they tried to break him, they were unable. In 1993, I believe it was, he was living in Kfar Chabad in Israel. At the time, he was 86 years old. And his neighbor, Rabbi Beshetsky, shares the following story. Rabbi Beshetsky, then at that time, a young teenage boy, together with his father, went to Rav Mendel's house after the Seder to see if Rav Mendel needed any assistance. They walked into the house and they find Rav Mendel dressed in his holiday clothing, laying on the couch, laughing. Oh, you came just at the right time. I need to use the facilities and I'm unable to get up. He couldn't walk anymore after all he'd been through in life, after the whole Seder, all the wine, he couldn't move. So they start to schlep him, pick him up literally and schlep him to the uh, restroom and he's laughing the whole time. His wife comes out yelling at him, Mendel, Mendel, why did you have to drink all that wine? I told you not to. This way you have to use the facilities. And the doctor told you you can't have all the matzah and the marah. And the, what did you have to do it to yourself for? And he looks at his wife and he says, For 86 years, I've been laughing at the world. I should stop now. And I thought that was a great line. And perhaps we can learn from Mendel Futafas. This is the exercise of the week. Try and laugh a little bit more at the world. You don't have to always play by its rules.